student taking up a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Mathematics in University of Western Philippines, Talawa. So today, we're going to be discussing the inquiry based teaching, particularly the 5A model. For the learning outcomes, at the end of this module, students are expected to first identify the components of 5S teaching model, second, describe how 5S model is appropriate in mathematics teaching and learning, third, design a lesson plan using 5S model, and last, demonstrate a designated lesson plan using 5S model. process of asking questions doing an investigation towards finding some truth or solution. The inquiry based teaching has the role to flag constructivist theory of learning from the world of John Dewey. Here is an explanation about inquiry based teaching. Inquiry based teaching is that the learner asks a big question about something really interesting. He is in the driver's seat on a journey to find his own answer. He created a plan to start, but it turns to an open-ended, and he didn't know exactly where it will lead. He tried different paths, play, and research, because he think, imagine, and create. As an ongoing process, he organizes his ideas and reflect each step away, and soon he will see clarity and create something new to share with others. It feels like climbing to the mountain and he get to the top and he felt proud. Incredible. The 5A model promotes a collaborative and active learning which students work together to solve problems and investigate a new concept by asking questions, observing, analyzing, and drawing conclusions. This is the systematic structure that encompasses the five phases, namely engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. <laughs> Firstly, engage. So for the first model, the teacher works to gain an understanding of the student's prior knowledge and identify any knowledge gap. So in here, the students are encouraged to ask questions or draw an experience test. This student-centered phase should create a desire to learn more from the upcoming topic. In here, teacher does not correct any misconceptions but does make notes about revisiting those misconceptions later on. The engagement is not intended for the teacher to lecture, define terms, and provide definitions. The purpose of this is to get students excited and ready to explore the topic. In this learning model, the teacher does is to create an interest, generate curiosity, and raises questions to your students. He or she has a response that uncover what the students know and think about the topic. And then what the students does here is to keep asking questions such as, why did this happen? What do I already know about this? What can I find about this? From that alone, your students now will find interest towards learning from the topic being discussed. Once the interest has been generated, the students now are ready to begin exploring the topic. At this stage, teachers provide hands-on activities. During the exploration phase, the students actively explore the new concepts to concrete learning experiences. So students here investigate a problem and begin to post real questions, develop hypotheses, and test certain hypotheses. The key concepts of the topic are identified, and the students develop the skills needed to test this. Now let us 
proceed to the third stage. So in this model, it is more teacher-directed and guided by the students' experiences in the previous phases. So in here, the students explain their understanding about the topic and the teacher correct any misconceptions. During this stage, the teacher provides formal definitions and notes. This is also the time while the teacher utilizes videos, computer software, and other aids in boosting understanding. In this learning phase, what the students thus hear is to explain possible solutions or answers to others, and listen critically to the other's explanation and then comprehend the explanation that the teachers offer. <laughs> and vocabulary again is now further elaborated and explored. So teacher here may ask questions to the students and create presentations or conduct additional investigations to reinforce their skills. In making new investigations, the students may formulate and test new hypotheses. In practicing new skills, students may take data and make new conclusions. Newly acquired terms are now used in conversation and writing. In this phase, it allows students to cement or solidify their knowledge before evaluation. In the elaboration, what the students does here is to apply the new levels, definitions, explanations, and skills in you but similar situations. We will have to use the previous information to ask questions, provide definitions, make decisions, and define experiments. From that, they will be able to draw a reasonable conclusion from evidences, and then they will have to check for the understanding of your peers. evaluation. Now it is the time for the students to evaluate their own learning. In this learning phase, it allows formal and informal assessment. During this phase, the teacher can observe whether their students have completely understand the core concept of the topic. It is also helpful to know whether the student approach has a problem in a different way based on what they have learned. Other helpful elements of evaluation may include self-assessment, peer assessment, writing assignment, and exams. And the teacher asks an open-minded question such as, Why do you think? What proof do you have? What do you know about it? And how would you explain it? In here, teacher allows students to access their own learning and growth process skills. And evaluate his or her own progress, knowledge, and ask questions that will encourage future improvement. In 5A's lesson plan, you have first the objectives, which includes the content standard, performance standard, and the learning objectives, which includes their knowledge objectives, skills objectives, and the attitude objectives. Second is your content, which includes the references used and the learning materials that you used in your lesson. Next is your procedure. You have the preliminary and developing activities includes greetings, prayers, energizer, checking of attendance, checking of assignment, and then recalling of the classroom rules. And then the most important is the drill or review. After that, here comes the first letter E engage. In here, it is more likely motivation plus review because under engage, you get the learner's attention and find out what they know. And then you need to do some activities that will be a way of making it very much to their prior knowledge. And it should also involve curiosity, excitement, wonder, and make them 
intellectually recognize the relevance of your strategies. In Engage, you can have an activities like short game, picture book, video clip, real world problems, and then connection to previous concepts. Second letter E is explore. So since you get the attention of your students, this is the perfect time to explore the new concept. Take note that the idea of this is to give an opportunity to practice or work with new knowledge that they have. You as a teacher will set up the task but you are only the facilitator and you have the learners who ask questions and you observe their works only. In exploration, you can have an activities like cooperative learning tasks, hands-on tasks using manipulative and investigations. So the next letter E is called explain. After the exploration, the learners will have the opportunity to hear from the teachers about the exploration. This is also the perfect time to use their knowledge to answer the questions from the topics on what they have learned. Teacher can also ask questions to the learners to see what they have learned. In explanation, you can use an activities like vocabulary organizer, notes and portables, which created by the students, and then explanatory videos. So the fourth letter E is called elaborate. Learners here can join in an extension and different activities. This time, teacher can reteach the objectives of the topic or concept. In here, teacher needs an activity that extends or enriches his or her lesson. This was like an application. For elaboration, we can have an activities like problem solving task, investigation, real world task, independent practice, games, station designed to practice skills or concept in a variety of ways. So the last letter E is called evaluate. In assessment, do not use traditional assessments such as quiz. It can be reflection because this is a learner-centered. You can use rubrics to easily guide, note what are the things learners need to understand or what is to be retold. You can encourage them to apply the skills in new situations. You can give them an assignment like create new situational problems. In evaluation, we can have an activities like journal task, traditional worksheet, exit ticket, problem solving, or critical thinking task. After the discussion, try to answer this assessment task. First, Identify and explain the components of 5S teaching model. Second, describe how 5S model is appropriate in mathematics teaching and learning. Third, discuss the application and effectiveness of 5S model. And then last, explain the use of 5S model in teaching.